were you surprised on how quickly you were able to make it here to the UFC? Uh, no. Uh, I feel like it, it, it's been a long road. Actually, it's been too long. Uh, I, mean, I had my first fight when I was first pro fight when I was 20. Uh, I've been fighting, training this whole time, boxing. Uh, been in, you know. Uh, so no, nah, I wasn't surprised at all. It's really, really been too long, really. You were looking for a knockout the whole fight, right? I mean, he was pushing you, pushing you. What, what, what was your feeling in, in the last, uh, last uh, seconds of the round? You know, when he was trying to get you now. Not the man just stick to my game plan. Uh, you know, he he was trying to bait me into doing something that wasn't in my game plan. You know, he was mad that I had footwork and skill. You know, if y'all take a look back at the fight, you know, he he's chasing me. I'm I'm moving to my right side. He's going right into my jab. You see his face is you know tore up. And every time he was stepping to the right, you know I'm coming with the right hand. So it just played into my hand. He was getting mad because he was getting caught because he was chasing me. You know, so that's all that was. That was just frustration uh, from him. Yeah. So. Not your. We we hear some booing at the last seconds because we can, they they wanna wanna see like a confrontation. Uh -huh. Kind of like just do, do the, the plan was you did whatever you have to do and you just wanted to keep continue with the plan, right? Or yeah, for sure. You, what do you have or what, is that where you what, what, had in your mind? I mean, yeah. I mean, any point in time, you know, I'm trying to finish the fight all the time, but you know, at the same time. Uh, you know, I want to stick to my game plan. You know, just because somebody's trying to bait me into something to do something that they want me to do don't, doesn't mean I'm going to do it. If he would have kept pushing the pressure, sooner or later he would have got knocked out. The reason he didn't get knocked out is because he stopped coming forward because he was tired of taking punches, you know. And that's when he wanted me to stand right in front of him and bang. Well, you know, that's not my style. I have skill, you know. These brawlers, yeah, if you want to get in there and stand in front of each other and bang, you know, that's cool. But I have skill, and, you know, I, I stick behind my skill. You know, that's why... I'm about to go party, and he's he's in the hospital right now. And I'm plain and simple. Your hands were able to find him quite a bit throughout the fight. Are you surprised that you weren't able to put him down? Uh, nah. Like I said, it was just a matter of time, really. Uh, like I said, he uh, if you notice, he pressed me hard in the first round. I started countering his shots, and then in the second round, he was pressuring me again and got hit. You know, uh, so once so once that happened, I feel like he stopped pressuring me as much. And uh, I wasn't able to get the knockout. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll beat people up all day that, you know, I'll throw 100 punches around. That doesn't matter to me whether I get the knockout or not. I'm I'm here to hurt people, you know. So the end result was a win, so I'm happy with that. He's, he's a guy that also hasn't gotten out of the <clears> first <throat> round. Did you think that taking him into deeper waters was a way that you could beat him up? No, nah, I just thought the people that he fought wasn't on my, on, on my caliber. That's it, you know. Uh, and then I heard in the interview, you know, he said he was going to take me out in the first round. I feel like that, you know, that's just a cop out because you can't go. You know, me, you, you can look at any interview I've done. I've never been like, oh, I want to come finish this guy in the first round. I'm looking in for the knockout. I'm not looking for that. I'm, I'm in there to go in there, do work, put on a good display of boxing, and, you know, come out with the win. Show show people what real boxing is. Uh, I just think people with the heavyweights, you know, they, especially coming up in the local shows, you, you fight a lot of guys that, you know, uh, don't fight very good competition. And that happens how he has a, the nine knockouts, you know, in the first round. But, you know, he's not fighting the caliber that I'm on right now. And it just showed right there, I feel. Well, speak, speak to the transition going from the local shows. Now you're on the big stage. What have been the big differences that you've mainly seen? How's the process been for you switching over? And how excited were you to finally get in there and get that win? Uh, it hasn't really been a big transition because, man, my camp is just filled with uh, top-notch fighters. Uh, I was in uh, Brian Jennings' sparring, uh, sparring partner for when he fought Klitschko. So, and I get uh, solid work with... Uh, top level boxers all the time, you know? So really the transition, like I said before, it wasn't, it It was more like, you know, when is it coming? Cause we knew what was coming. It was just like, when, wh when is it coming? You know, we felt like we've been this caliber for a long time. Uh, coming from where I come from, you know, you just don't get a lot of exposure. And we just needed that one shot to really show people what we can do. And I, I feel like I did it tonight. And it seems like boxing is what you're hoping is gonna separate you and what you're bringing to against the other uh, heavyweights that are already currently in the UFC. Yeah, for sure, for sure. My boxing is definitely going to set me apart, I feel like. But, you know, don't get it wrong. Uh, I'm definitely well-rounded. You know, uh, that was my uh, eighth fight. I'm 7-0-1 right now, and uh, I got four submissions on my record. So that just shows you how well-rounded. And that came from beating people up on the feet. They're tired of taking punches, so they take me down. And I trained with uh, Dracolino at a Gracie bar in Houston, and I roll with top-notch black belts all the time. So uh, my ground game is legit as well. So. It's where it's pick your poison with me. That's what I feel like. So, well, you got the win. How are you going to go celebrate? And uh, how soon do you want to get back in there? 
Uh, as soon as possible, man. Uh, I know they got a Hidalgo show, uh, Hidalgo, Texas. So if I can hop on that card, uh, it'll be great because I won't have to fly. I hate flying, so uh, I can drive to that flight. Hopefully I can get on that Hidalgo card. So that's what I want to do.